This is. Hello everyone, so welcome back. If you guys are new here, then hi, my name is Mel and I'm so excited that you found my channel. If you are not new here, then welcome back to my little YouTube channel. Today's video is another Mickey Ears video. These are the Mickey Ears that I am basing my eye and my whole face look off of today. I'll be featuring the next pair of ears I'm going to be doing a makeup look off of in my next video. They're going to be shown at the end of the videos. Please stay tuned for that. But definitely leave a comment down below of any video ideas. I'm really into like this theming for the month and having, you know, makeup looks based off of theming. That's just me. I would love to hear what you guys think about what videos you would like for me to do and I will definitely feature it in uh, the next video of some of the ideas that I liked. Maybe I'll do like a pull them all together. So I don't know. You gotta let me know what you want to see because it's kind of been my little show for a little bit and I'm curious what you guys want to see. It, um, I try to just base it off of one eyeshadow product. So many of my videos where I am like dipping into colors from like 16 different palettes and somehow I've only used like five colors so I don't even know how that's possible. But eyeshadow set that I am basing this look off of which again you can use whatever you have if you have colors that are similar but this is the eyeshadow uh, quad yeah, that I am basing this off of. This is a long comb eyeshadow set. I think it's called Bronze Amore. The name of it is on the back. It is right there. I know it's super, super hard to see because it's so tiny. This is the eyeshadow set that I based it off of because I wanted to try to focus it on one set. So I did go ahead and do that. So all the colors that you are going to need, if you just happen to have, definitely make sure to follow me on all my social media. Link will be down below. Me and Matt did a whole Snapchat day yesterday uh, when we went to the park. So instead of a vlog, we did a Snapchat day. Also, don't forget to stay tuned till the end of the video because I am going to be showing the new set of ears that we're going to be basing the look off of. So so again, without me continuing to ramble, I'm going to say let's go ahead and cut conversation short and get on with the video. For the ado, let's go ahead and get started. So we are starting off with There's Witch Hazel and Rose Petal with the cotton pad and I'm getting any extra oil off of my face making sure I'm starting with a nice clean slate. And once I get all that stuff off, I'm going to go ahead and go in first with my Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin. I'm going to be putting that on my eyelids and just dabbing it on. And I'm just kind of in there. Then I'm going to go in with the eyeshadow palette. This is the Long Comb Eyeshadow Quad in Bronze Amour. And I'm going to start with the center color, which is the lid color. Um, and then I'm going to just take a big fluffy brush and I'm going to dab this all over the lid, concentrating it on the crease area. And once I get a good coating, I'm going to go in with the gold. And the gold, I'm going to go ahead and kind of center on the lids. And this is going to kind of make them look a lot brighter and more awake. So I'm going to be concentrating that again in the center area. And then I'm just going to be using a fluffy brush to kind of blend out the edges of the eyeshadow. Now I want to take that very dark brown color on the very bottom. And I'm going to be using this to defy my crease and drag underneath my lash line. Now this is just going to bring a little more like depth and make it look a little more not like flat. So that is what this is for. And then again I'm just blending everything out because we want to make sure it's very very like smoky gradient. Next I'm going to go in with my uh, Heart eyeliner and I'm just gonna put a little smudge on the back of my hand with a very thin brush and I'm gonna be making little leopard prints so 
this is probably really good to do if you have like a, a picture of inspiration um just kind of make little u shapes or little c shapes and like little spots and sometimes circles you know just to kind of get that leopard look and then i'm actually going to line my eyes with this as well now this part can be kind of tricky because when you are doing the spots you want to make sure that it dries a little bit before you blend or else the eyeliner will smudge but it does dry pretty quickly so um, just kind of be aware when you are drawing the little spots on like here the one of the circles that i did kind of got a little messed up then i'm going to be using my maybelline fit me dewy finish foundation i'm going to be putting some on the back of my hand and then using um, a kabuki brush with a dense dome tip i'm going to be dabbing this all over my face and this is going to leave a nice clean dewy finish and then i'm going to set that with my mac skin finish natural powder in medium and i'm just going to be taking a big fluffy brush and using this to kind of set that makeup and once that is set i am then going to go in with my naked skin shape shifter palette I'm gonna go in with the bronze color all the way on the end and I'm just gonna start kind of very, very with a light, light hand to start dabbing that on my face and blending it out to bring a little more shape and contour into my face. Now, again, this is extremely pigmented so a little goes a long way. So just dabbing it a little bit is good and I'm also blending it out with my fingers since it is a cream I wanted my fingers to kind of warm up the cream and blend in better <clears throat> now for this look we're gonna skip blush and go straight to the highlighter we're using the same gold in that long comb palette and I'm just gonna be using my fingers to highlight the high points of my face and then my nose and on my upper lip as well I just want to make this a very very gold look since we are gonna be wearing our leopard Mickey ears. I'm also gonna be contouring just a tad on either side of my nose, just to kind of bring a little, again, a little more definition, not to make my face look uh, like really flat. <coughs> Excuse me. And now I'm gonna take my uh, Stila eye coal in Topaz, and I'm just gonna be lining my waterline and making sure I have some hydrated lips, so I'm going to be using my Kiehl's Mint Lip Balm to start hydrating my lips. And we're going to finish off the eyes with my Tarte Man Eater Mascara. I thought this was a good uh, mascara to feature with this look because it has the leopard print on it. So I thought that was kind of cute. So we're just going to coat our lashes with this top and bottom. And then once I get a good few coats, and I like how it looks, I am then going to style my hair, which I just put it in a ponytail. And at this point, you're, you can be pretty much done, um, but if you want to add a little bit of lip color, we are going to add a little bit. And I'm gonna be using um, this little long comb tester that I got at one of the counters. It's like a pretty like dark, brown color and that is the completed look so i hope that y'all enjoyed this video this is the look close up so you can see the little spots and i really again like how this look turned out it was so fun to make it was so cute and those leopard ears man just do stuff too and this is the completed look. I was actually uh, very pleasantly surprised with how it came out. It is definitely super, super wearable. It's super fun. Alrighty, so you guys stay, stay tuned till the very end so that you can see what the next set of ears are gonna be. Next set of Mickey ears that I'm gonna do. They are my uh, personalized Mickey ear set. So it is the a uh, customizable set. So on the back, I have my name and I have Matt's name. Uh, and yes, yeah, so I'm going to be basing a look off of these with because I have the rainbow colors to work with on the back. 
purple bow to work on in the front, a little like front and back type thing. So yeah, so these are the next ears I'm going to be making a look off of, so stay tuned for that. If you guys want me to do a making ear giveaway, you gotta let me know down in the comments down below. And you should also let me know what ears you would want me to give away. So make sure that you go and hit down below and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss another video just like this one. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up so that I know to continue making content just like this one. I also do want to thank you all so, so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.